Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! day chasing the clouds away on my way to where the air is sweet can you tell me how to get how to get to sesame street but i'm bum come and play everything's a-okay friendly neighbors there that's where we meet. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? How to get to Sesame Street? How to get to Sesame Street? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Bella's Bargains. My name is Amy. It is Totally Easy Tuesday. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm on a TV theme kick. I'm singing all these TV theme songs. That actually is one of my favorites. Like, who doesn't love Sesame Street? And I sang it today because I'm doing something for um, a little girl. It's for a little girl's birthday. So I thought, mm, I should totally sing a kid's theme song. So um, <clears throat> I love Sesame Street. I've sung it before, actually, I think. Or some other Sesame Street songs. I don't know. I think today I will be the Count. <laughs> Favorite character right now, everybody put that down below because it just, come on, it's Sesame Street. I think actually mine is Oscar the Grouch and not just because he's that beautiful green. It just, I, he's so sarcastic. I think it's hysterical. So I love Oscar. You, who's yours? Okay, so, um, hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today is Totally Easy Tuesday and so we have Effingham. No, every, every Effingham, everybody loves you. You're not a Sesame Street character. That's why I didn't pick you. I know. No, I, someday I'll let you watch Sesame Street. Actually, I think you would love Sesame Street, Effingham. There are an, sort of animals. Would we call them animals? I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, yes, I promise. I promise we're going to do Sesame Street Day for you one day. All right. So for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome to my kitchen. We come in here and we have such a good time in my kitchen. Um, we chit chat, we have coffee or drink or whatever, the, your beverage, your choice. So <laughs> that sounds like a political statement. Today's <laughs> statement of the day, your beverage, your choice. Okay, so um, if you land on Total Easy Tuesday, but just let me tell you really quickly about this channel. Because I don't really advertise it much when I'm talking to you guys and I really should push it more. But this channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, a dollar. And a quarter. It used to be a dollar, people. Now it's a dollar and a quarter. Hashtag. Hashtag. One, two, five. Hashtag. One, two, five, four. A dollar twenty-five. Okay. So um, today I am doing stuff for a little girl's birthday party. But if you want to know anything about the four uploads that I do every week, all you have to do is check out the description box. Because I also do themed Thursday, which is crafts with a theme. Although today's does kind of have a theme. And then there is, the theme is Olivia, the little girl who I'm making stuff for. Okay, and then um, Saturdays is Shopping Saturday. That's holla for your dollar, ha, holla for your dollar, ha, holla for your dollar. That's Effingham's favorite day. I know, because Effingham often will co-host uh, Shopping Saturday with me. And then on Sundays, it's the Beanies and Robe Show. And that's where Marcus and I, my husband, do food, Dollar Tree food reviews, so it's a whole lot of fun. Anyway, so stick around. I hope you consider giving me a thumbs up. Please make a comment and subscribe if you feel so inclined. All right, let's move along. So today, 
Um, I think I told you guys, I'm doing a birthday party at my house. We, Olivia and I are 50 years apart. <laughs> and we, so she'll be eight, I'll be 58, and our birthdays are very close together. So last year we did this, we did a mermaid birthday party together, and it was a pool party. Now this year we're not doing mermaid, but she's doing ballerina. Not really a ballerina type, although I can still do first position, second position, third position, fourth position, fifth position. Because of course, I took ballet as a little girl too, didn't we all? Maybe not. Anyway, so since she's having a ballerina themed party, I'm like, I have to make some things. I'll make a video. This is a twofer, right? I make her gifts and I get to make a craft video and show you guys how I made some of these fun things. So I got three crafts for you today. I think you're gonna like them all and they're all very, um, there's a DT Threads in here even. Wait, what? DT Threads, yes! Do you know what DT Threads is? No, I know, every name I know, I know. I know you know, I'm asking them. If you don't know what DT Threads is, go back and look in my videos. I have done Dollar Tree clothing. I, if I remember, I will link both of those. I've had two videos now where I've done Dollar Tree clothing. I'll link those videos down below. And I have an array of Dollar Tree stuff that I make clothing out of um, because they sell t-shirts and stuff. And anyway, you'll see. Okay, so um, today, I'm just gonna start with uh, the first thing which is the super cute, they make those little signs that have glitter in them, pop! And so this is a little, this is a little ballet one, right? Now, this started out with a unicorn in it, and I thought it was kind of tchotchke, actually. And I didn't really think this matched the unicorn. Hi, Marcus. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, babe, will you do me a favor? Throw me a cup, another cup, or you're getting ready to make your coffee, huh? Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna tell you, this was super easy to take these apart, they come apart. And if by any chance you destroyed the brown paper in the back, you could always cut a new piece of brown paper for the back. But I just want to say, I just went online. Now you're going to see in this video, the first time I did it, I put a little ballerina in it and it was so cute. Don't get me wrong. But there was a print next to it and I couldn't, I couldn't isolate it enough not to get a little part of that print in. And the coloring seemed off to me, but I left it in so you guys could see the process of me creating. Like I'll do something and be like, uh-uh. Just does it's not not meshing for me and so I went ahead and found another one and I love this it's so cute it's very little girl remember she's gonna be eight so this is like a perfect little you can hang it but you can also these will sit sorry honey so anyway I just wanted to take and redo super easy redo now another idea for these is I could have put like a little um, a little picture of her in her, you know, ballerina outfit. I didn't happen to have one, but also a very good idea. So you could really personalize this. Anyway, so I love this. I think it's super cute. And it's way better, I think, than the unicorn that was in there before. Okay, and then next, actually the first thing that I made, so I can't decide which thing to show you next because I have a favorite. I'm going to show you my favorite last. Okay, so this was the very first thing that I made, and this is so cute. She's going to love this. So this is DT Threads, and um, it just came out so adorable. Look at this shirt, you guys. So they sell tulle now at the Dollar Tree, so I bought a bunch of tulle, but I really wanna show you guys what I did. This is a T-shirt, and I took the bottom part, so beneath the hem, where you could put a string through it, right? I just used that, and I cut slits in it, and then tied off tulle on it. So incredibly easy, but how adorable is this? And then they now sell the iron-on patches. So I took the sparkly gold, I drew some ballet slippers, and I ironed on a ballet slipper. This is so cute. Now I could have done more. I thought about putting some tulle on the sleeves, which would have been cute, but I decided not to go overboard. I was like, nah, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is because I just think this is so cute. But just so you know, you could have, like, I could have put a slit here and put little bows on here. I really did think about it, but then I thought that would take away from this. So, um, and you know, I'm always about trying to balance whatever it is that I'm making. So this is so cute because it really is like this little cute little almost tutu thing on the bottom of the shirt. I did go all the way around. It's wrinkled. I'm, don't worry. I'm going to put it in the bathroom and, I, and let it hang in the steam to get the wrinkles out of it. But you guys get the idea. And then, of course, I just used a um, ribbon and tied off those little ballet shoes, right? Come on, you guys, this is so cute. So that was the DT threads that I made today. So here we go. 
ballerina theme, right? These are the two things that I'll actually wrap for her. But then I made something that I'm gonna put up as a party decoration and then she will get to take it home and she can put it in her room. Now this one doesn't necessarily have as much of a ballet theme as it does an Olivia theme, right? But super girly, super cute, and I tied it in because I used tulle on it. So are you guys ready? Now I just hauled what I made these out of. So actually, let me start there. They are selling these new gift bags and there's like four different colors and they're, they're iridescent. Let me just show you. They're very iridescent. So there's like a green, a pink, like a blue and a purple, right? Super cool, super iridescent. Would have been perfect for the mermaid theme last year. Didn't have them then. But you know, I buy their treat bags and I make garlands and they're just, they're so fun and so easy. So of course I had to do it again. Oh my gosh, this is, wait, it got stuck on something. So, and I'm always trying to do something a little bit different with my garland. I didn't fail you this time. I did do something different. Check this out. Babe, you haven't seen this. Isn't it cute? It says Olivia. Sweet. Ah, it says her name on it. And then I just did, I did not make it super big, okay? So I want you guys to notice that. I only used one bag. So there's a total of eight flags on here. You'll see in the video how I cut the ends off and then I gave them the little point on the bottom. But here's what I really wanna show you <clears throat> is that in between each one, I just did a loop knot in the ribbon, which gives it just the perfect little space. Oopsie, that one flipped over. Gives it the, go back. It gives it the perfect little spacing. Do you see that? And then they don't slide all around. So it's just a little bit different take on a way that you can do a garland. And then I just put some little um, floral stickers on the two ends. Now, these are just poster letters. They're literally just poster letters. So I did not Mod Podge over them. If you wanted to make it perm, like absolutely, I would say Mod Podge over it. But this is, it's on there really good, you guys. This isn't just gonna fall off. And so I decided not to Mod Podge because what if she wants to change it in the future? Because another great idea, she got a little bit older, if she still had it, is you could put little clothespins on these and make them little hangers for pictures. Then on the ends, um, I just looped it so it could get hung up somewhere. I did not do an anchor on these like I do on a lot of my garlands. So I just cut um, matching ribbon and the tool and gave it like this little poofy end. Super cute. Is this not the cutest? This is my favorite. And it was so easy. And I still have eight bags left over. I can make some more garlands. I love this. I think it's so adorable. I could have also, I thought about doing it like double-sided. You could, if depending upon where you were gonna hang something. But obviously this would just look so perfect on her wall or above her bed or on a headboard even. Be so super cute. And so easy. So cost-wise, <coughs> this little number cost me a dollar. Well, a dollar twenty-five, right? And then I just printed something out. So this was a dollar twenty-five. This little number, the shirt was a dollar twenty-five. This was a dollar twenty-five, but I still have um, a whole nother patch, and I have a part of this part patch left over. I could certainly get car hearts or something out of it. So dollar twenty-five for the shirt. Let's just say dollar twenty-five for the patch thing. Two fifty. And then the tool. Now I bought, I think there's four different tools. I'm not looking at the tools right now. I think there's four or five. One, two, three. There's five different tools. So I bought them all. But obviously I only used a small portion of the tool. I still have a ton left. So this shirt easily was under, under $5 to make. And it's so cute. And the garland, well the garland, I only used one bag from each. And each bag has three in it. So... I used four, so we know we, I used the equivalent of one package and part of another one. I'm gonna say less than um, $2, three, four, less than five, because of course I had put the stickers on there and then the letters, but I left over on everything, I had left over stuff. So anyway, super cute. I hope you guys really like that. I know Olivia's gonna love it. Um, I had to show her mom a picture of the shirt because it's just so dang cute. So this was, um, this was my four o'clock in the morning shirt craft because I couldn't sleep. And so I got up and started crafting. And, um, and then I got up this morning and finished these. So I do not talk about what I'm putting together 
as I'm doing it, I actually have to voice over because he was sound asleep. So I was like, I'm not gonna make much noise. Okay, all right, you guys, that's it. Evingham, did you like? Uh, yeah, I know, huh? I think she's gonna like him too. He knows Olivia. Yeah, she's gonna love those. All right, so everybody, I'm off to work. Have a great day, a great week, a great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, wait, before you go, make sure you tell me, favorite Sesame Street, what were you drinking while you're watching my video, and which craft was your favorite? I really, I have a feeling that this is going to win just because it's so easy and so cute. And this one, by the way, was easy as well. It was tedious, right? This took a little bit of time. And as far as cutting out the these, you could always trace. Now, I freehanded. I looked at a picture and freehanded it, but you could trace that, okay? So, or just do a heart. Don't do ballet slippers. I did the, the ballet slippers because we were going for a theme on the birthday. All right. So, and this, of course, was as simple as they came. All right, guys, have a great, I already said it, didn't I? All right, so hey, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Enjoy watching the rest of the video to see how I put these together. Thanks, guys, I'll see you back here for themed Thursday, which I believe is gonna be movie themed. All right, we'll see you then. Say good, say good night, Gracie. Say good night, Gracie. Good night. <laughs> All right, guys, enjoy the rest. Thank you, bye. frames are super cute and I like the concept but I don't normally like the graphics that are inside them so I thought this was perfect to redo and make a ballerina one so I just printed off some ballerina prints on my printer and you're gonna see me take this all apart and put in the cute little ballerina only to remove it all right so when you're deconstructing these they basically have like double stick tape on the brown paper and if you take your time and you're careful, you can get them apart fairly easily without any, any issues. So that's what I did. Dumped all my sequins into a little cup. And now the hardest part of this DIY is removing the word dreamers. Um, I couldn't find my nail polish. It was super early in the morning. I didn't want to wake anybody up. So I used the tools I had on hand, which was the little scraper thing. It's not even a scraper thing. It's a pushy down thing. I don't even know what this tool's called. Anyway, I just started scraping those letters off which by the way this does work perfect and then I'm not sure I show it on film but I took a magic eraser and got the remainder of like the soot and or um, stuff that was on there now I think this picture is super cute and I absolutely loved it I loved using that metallic Crayola pink marker on it but once I put it back in there um, just the colors weren't right that it printed like I don't know I was just like I can't and I tried desperately to make it look good. But this, I still put it together and showed you. So there's what it looks like, but now I'm gonna undo it and redo it. Notice my sleeves? I'm in my bathroom, because it's like 4.30 in the morning at this point. Okay, so <laughs> I take her out. But just to, goes to show you, you could really use anything. And then I printed this. So see, those colors are way better. It's got that sort of turquoise. But again, perfection gets the best of me. I cut this one out. Put it in there i put it all back together only to decide that i think the shoes go too far down and so the sparkles cover them up so what do i do print another one and then i drop it and i make sure it's where i want it so traced it out again i just repeated this boy this this was an easy craft that took me multiple times to get right but now it's right and it, i absolutely love it so then i just put everything back down got my two double-sided tape from crafter square there Retaped the um, brown paper backing. But if you ruined this, by, you know, they have brown paper at Dollar Tree that you could use to make a new backing on it. 
And then um, I took the ribbon, which you don't see here, and I stuck it behind the paper, FYI. So there you go. I think this came out really cute, and I'm sure Olivia is going to. Next project, this is my favorite. I just hauled these gift bags, they're calling them fabric gift bags. Um, and I love to make banners out of them, so of course that's what we're going to do. But I lost a whole bunch of footage on this, so I'm going to walk you guys through it. I'm using a ribbon instead of um, jute twine for the string of the garland. Those four different colored um, fabric gift bags, so they had a purple, a green, a pink, and like a turquoise color. I'm using the tool, which of course I used on the next project as well. And then some poster stickers because that's how I'm going to put her name on the garland. All right, so what we missed was me cutting the garland out, but it's so simple. All I did was cut all of the seams off, just three cuts, and took the strings out of it and put a V on the bottom. So that's super, super simple. Then I used the poster um, stickers and put her name on it, and then some floral stickers just on the end ones. Then I taped the ribbon to a pencil and strung it through. And then this is where I gave it a little bit of a different twist because I did a loop knot in between each one of the flags. So first of all, I just do a loop on the end to hook it with and then just start doing loop knots. And that's just to pull it up in a loop and knot it through. Super easy. And that was my separation between the flags, kept them where I want them to be and kept all those flags pretty close because they say Olivia. So I want them fairly close to so read the name. This came out so cute. Um, and then again, let me explain how I cut those out. Here I came a little bit closer so you guys can see. Just loop and then knot. See that? And it's super cute. It's a great, great little thing. I don't know. I think it's super cute. Okay, so but again, all I did on those bags was I cut down each side and across the bottom to remove all of the sewn together parts and then just cut a V on the bottom. That's how I made my banner pieces. So after I get my loop knots through, I'm not sure if that's the right name, but that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> after I got my loop knots through, then I went ahead and wanted to put something a little decorative on the ends and that would really tie it all together with sort of my ballerina theme. So that's why I wanted to add the tool. So I take ribbon, just a complimentary ribbon that matches this and I cut them some lengths of the ribbon and lengths of the tool. By the way, there I was just measuring so my ends would be the same. So I just cut out two pieces of each color of the tool, the pink, um, and I put two pieces of each color on each end. So the pink, this is a white, there's a purple and a teal, and then did complementary ribbon colors. Basically what I'm doing is making sort of a crisscross bow to put on the end of this garland. And again, just color coordinating. So I use um, a purple ribbon, a pink ribbon, and sort of teal colored ribbon, and then the matching tool, and just sort of crisscross it. And then use the pieces of white tool as sort of my string to tie it all together. So I just cut equal lengths of all three of these color ribbons. I did give them little slanted ends on it, just to, you know, to prettyfy it. <laughs> and, um, and then tied it all together and put it on the end. This is a really cute finishing touch, by the way. It just finished it off perfectly and did give it that little ballerina twist because it had the tool in there. So I love this project. This one actually became my favorite and it was so easy. And I'm sorry that I lost some of my footage on it, but I hopefully you guys understand how to cut those banner pieces because they're fairly easy. So like I said, I sort of put this together like crisscross tool, take the white tool and knot it all together and then take the next piece of white tool and knot it on the end of my banner right there. Look how cute. I love this. I know she's going to love this. Project that started it all. Okay, so I have this t-shirt, which I obviously got at the Dollar Tree, and this new product, which is the iron-on patches, so grab that, and the new, other new product, which is the tool piece.
pieces. Um, and so, of course, I just want to kind of make this look ballerina. So, I take my tool and I just start cutting strips off of it. And I had five different colors there. There's a white, a light pink, a darker pink, a purple, and a teal. And I thought I was going to use ribbon on here, and then I tried it and I'm like, no. So can you see what I'm doing? Just the very bottom of the shirt is putting slices into it because it gives me like a loop that I could tie into. Now, getting the tool through the loop was the biggest problem. Um, it took a little bit of experimenting, then I figured it out. I got my handy dandy needle nose pliers because they work for everything. Okay, but I decided I didn't like the ribbon, it was too much, I just wanted the tool. So this is what I did. I just cut out all my pieces, I got piles of each one of my colors of tool, and then I made a pattern for the colors. Um, and I knew that I couldn't have my white and my light pink like right next to each other because they were so similar. And so I just did my pattern and then I went white, teal, light pink, purple, dark pink, whatever, it doesn't matter, the pattern is the pattern, right? And then just went through and just pulled the tool through and knotted it. All I do is one single knot and do this all the way around the shirt. And it's so cute, you guys. This is like so cute. So then I was just like, all right, I know for sure this is what I'm doing. And so I went all the way around. I will tell you, I considered adding a ribbon border at the bottom of the shirt and in the end decided not to because that would make it really stiff. See, t-shirt material has some give on it and ribbon doesn't so I decided not to put a trim on the bottom of it and I don't think it needs it anyway I, just the tool on the bottom is so adorable and so easy and then um, I just went continued to go all the way around in hindsight what I should have done was made a matching scrunchie with the tool to go with this shirt and I may do that just for her birthday I was too early in the morning to think about it all right because I could have just used a rubber band hair tie and tool. Alright, so now I went on my iPad and I just pulled up images of hanging ballet slippers right there. And then I just started sort of sketching and following it. And um, I mean, it's fairly easy. Uh, if you're not comfortable with this, first of all, it doesn't have to be ballet. This could have just been a heart shape or anything. I mean, just anything because this iron-on stuff is really cool. And by the way, it worked phenomenal. So I cut it out, then I just have to get my little pieces out of there. I get my little scissors to cut all that out. So this is a little fussy cut in here, but it was worth it and it all worked out. And then I get my iron. So they say to heat this uh, material up first with the iron and then to use a, what do they call it, a cover cloth or a press cloth, I think. And you put the press cloth over the patch and then iron. Well, all I did was flip the t-shirt over, you'll see here in a minute, to use my press cloth. So I do warm up the shirt with me, my iron, and I didn't show you all of it, I just, yeah. And then see that, I just flipped the t-shirt over to make it my press cloth. And then you're supposed to um, do it for, I can't remember now the time frame, the instructions are on there, but then do the inside of it too. So I did all that and it bonded wonderfully. Then I'm like, obviously I have to put the tie on the little ballerina shoes. So I cut my ribbon, I used tacky glue, just to tacky down right there and then um, put a little bow on the top of it after I got that on there and voila I cut my little ends on the bow I think I cut them a little bit short yeah I did cut them a little bit short and that's it it's so cute is this not the cutest anyway those are my birthday things for Olivia I think she's absolutely gonna love them um, so I hope you guys really enjoyed it don't forget to tell me which one was your favorite thank you so much for watching this video and um, let me know if you're going to copy any of those. I just realized the eye is backwards on, it's flipped over in this video right here. That's okay. You guys get it. Um, all right. So thanks again. Let me know which one is your favorite. I had fun doing these. We'll see you guys back here on Thursday for Themed Thursday.